Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Key Manufacturing for my usual folks. You notice that we've gone for a bit of an excursion, we're in a different place. This is not my normal workshop. Uh, this may not be up your alley, so I will not be offended if you turn away. However, machinists have read it, welcome. So what we have here is a 65mm drill bit. You can see it's actually quite large, about the size of my arm. And we need to make it fit into this collet here. So that's going to be located roughly there, so I can drill a part that I need to drill. Uh, in order to do this, I'm going to put it in the lathe. I'm going to use this collet here, around there like that, hold it in a lathe, put a live centre in this end here, and then turn this section down before chopping it off so it'll fit in there. That's then going to go into the bridge port, and we're going to give it a go. So, sit back, hold my beer, and watch this. Alright, here we are, it's up in the fore jaw, you can see the, uh, the collet here. I'm supported at the end here with the live centre, and it's got about 0.07mm. Yeah, 0 0.07 mm run out around here, and, and other than that, it's uh, it's pretty good. You now, what's interesting to note though is that this is not circular. It seems to be a bit of an oval shape, um, so it was really hard to get that run out dialed in. So that's what you get when you buy a drill bit off eBay. Oh, Obama. The previously identified not round collet became more not round under the cutting loads and failed to support the drill bit. That's a problem. The good news is I found a solution. The bad news is I sat on a microphone box during lunch, the pizza was delicious thanks for asking, and muted it so I have to do a voiceover for the next bit. You can see here the new collet I made up. It's been bored out of a section of 6061 to be slightly undersized so they can put a drill in it with a light press fit using the tailstock to push. The side of it's been drilled, tapped and an M12 bolt installed to act as a drive dog for the drill. And the bit is concentrically located through the press fit and collet and the live centre. It's also actually located by pressing against a sacrificial plate covering the spindle bore and again the live centre pushing it from the other end. Just imagine some machining noises in here. So the chips look pretty nice to me, but the surface finish isn't the greatest. I probably could have spun it a little bit faster, but I wasn't willing to risk the whole setup. Even with the light press fit, I had to redial the bit in by a few tenths of a millimetre but it got there in the end, within 0.05. Just imagine some more machining noises here. So here's the completed drill bit. The ends come up pretty nicely, though man it's short, it looks ridiculous. It also fits into the collet like a glove, which is a good thing for trying to keep the whole thing together. For the record, the collet is 7 eighths of an inch, which as far as I can tell is the largest you can buy for an R8 collet system, and I had to get it all the way from the States. So there we have it, the hole was successfully drilled. Take that naysayers. In all honesty though, the mill was barely able to drill that hole, even though it had a 30mm pilot running through it. I did stall the mill a few times, and I think I wasn't able to keep enough cut pressure on it to prevent chatter and vibration. But it worked, I have a hole, and the inside of it is surprisingly nice despite the sounds the mill was making. Now I just need to make the rest of my lathe. More videos may follow. Thanks for watching, have a good day.